name is Julia Ferguson. I'm a student at University of Arlington, and I'm here to talk about the book, How Full Is Your Bucket? by Tom Rath and Donald Clifton. Um, both authors are very qualified and uh, established authors um, in the community. And um, both of them have written uh, various positive books. Um, this book's purpose is to stress the importance of positive interactions in one's life for relationships, productivity, and, um, and health. The, this book targets um, individuals looking to improve their lives in the workplace and wanting to improve relationships both in the home and in the workplace. It also gives ideas on how to increase productivity um, and keep your team members happy. A couple of strings is that this book is very relatable to a large number of audiences and it helps people understand that negativity is a real problem, especially in the workplace, and should be addressed. Um, this book also does Gallup recognition interview shows on how the reader can specify and optimize bucket filling in both their lives, other people's lives, and in the workplace. A couple weaknesses is it does not demonstrate many changes that could occur um, basically for the entire country or a culture to decrease America's negativity. And it does not elaborate on those cultures that scored higher um, than America to foster more positive environments. Um, the bucket, they have bucket images throughout the book and which is pertinent for information and on statistics on how people's lives are affected and um, not only affect their lives, but um, their workplace and other lives, other lives, other people's lives. So uh, with relationships, it shows studies of marriages, um, couples that they are affected by negativity and how five to one ratio of positive to negative can have outcomes on um, the divorce rates in America. Um, studies have also shown that organized leaders who share the positive emotions with the work groups have a more positive mood, enhanced job satisfaction, greater engagement, and imp improved group performance. Um, a couple uh, other things is optimists have also been found to average less than one doctor visit per year um, when they are more positive and bad bosses could increase the risk risk of stroke by 33%. So it does show the difference between positive and negative in your home life and the work life. So uh, the book also provides strategies, five different strategies on how to accomplish your goals for positive and negativity. Um, the only thing in my opinion, this book could have stressed a little bit more importance of filling other people's buckets and enhancing other people's lives. Um, I would recommend this book primarily to those individuals who actively desire to improve their own lives, um, secondary to bosses and leaders, so that they can demonstrate how much impact they have on those that they work with, and they can improve productivity in the work environment, and which spills down into our patients' lives and our patient care. So. Um, again, thank you very much for your time. My name is Julia Ferguson, and I will now take this time for questions.